Our main war area is really quite unusual. It's using multiple different vehicles from different manufacturers. We've got everything from uh, underwater gliders through to fast-moving unmanned surface vehicles, large unmanned air vehicles, everything in between. So we've got the full range of capability and in some really interesting uh, environments. It's actually the very first time that the industry have been able to field the capability it's been developing with Royal Navy assets, with Royal Navy operators working across a wide range of applications and other companies. So it's really exciting, it's really innovative and for me this is going to demonstrate the impact this technology is going to have for capability going forward. One of the keys of Unmanned Warrior is being able to understand and explore how the Royal Navy and indeed Defence can better and more quickly leverage technological advances that are happening out there in places like industry and the academic worlds and actually exploring whether there's a potential for getting those new technologies into service much more quickly. Unmanned Warrior provides uh, small companies with this great opportunity to be able to present to a worldwide audience in an environment that is demonstrating its real-world capabilities. It's a great opportunity to raise the visibility of what it is we can do, not only with the Royal Navy, the wider MOD, but also with a lot of the industry partners.